Alright Soul Tribe, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Tony. What's your channel tarot card messages for today? I'm going to get into some channeling to see what your current energies are, what's coming toward you, what you need to know, and the matters of the heart usually, right? That's what we get into on this channel, love messages. We're using the moon and the stars tarot deck. Oh my god. Yeah, a little bit of change up in the scenery. You have no idea how comfortable it is to sit Indian style on the floor. <laughs> I'm on like the third or fourth floor of this building and I'm sitting Indian style again. But yeah, I guess it's the first time for everything. You know? So much space. Still got to be quiet though. Let's get into it, right? Let's enter our meditative state of consciousness and uh, see what spirit wants to relate through the cardomancy, what's currently surrounding you in love, what's coming towards you in love, relationships which intertwine with business. So you may get some money messages as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Happy birthday to all the Scorpios that's coming into the video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow, add value, tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell a friend. All right. Now, one thing I didn't expect in this big, gigantic building is a mosquito. <laughs> you just can't escape the bugs, man. All right. Messages for the watchers today. What do they need to know in regards to the current energies? I may also do um, readings for the four elements separately. I wanted to run through the Zodiac today, but I guess I'll, I want to actually do something um, different for, what is today? Well, today's Saturday, even though I don't want to date these readings. They should be timeless. But um, yeah, I think I may do elemental signs as well. All right. Anyways, what's your grounded message for today? Ace of Cups course with these being love readings right so this is what's grounding your reading today this is what's currently permeating your reading or your atmosphere or the incoming energies that's going to be targeting you so person place or thing or this is you this is very positive energy very loving energy so this is a new opportunity for love the growth of love or even intuition maybe even artistic desires as well six of swords movement so, yeah, someone's coming towards you to bring this love cup. This could also be a vacation headed your way. Self-love is a possibility here. The world, yeah, it's giving me traveling vibes. But, you know, I look at the world as the world wide web, which is the Internet as well, too, right, where everyone has their opinions. A lot of people use the Internet, right, to get things off their mind, whether it's listening to music. A lot of people just write random things, right? Sometimes people need to keep things to themselves. But, you know... Twitter is there, all that type of stuff. You have a Sagittarius coming towards you. Mm -hmm. Maybe a teacher or some sort of a guru type individual prospecting, bringing in this page of pentacles. So you can have a young earth sign headed towards you. This could also be um, payment, right? A token of appreciation, a small gift coming towards you or some sort of a new commitment. It could be an amateur content creator. <clears throat> I wanted to say uh, amateur uh, entrepreneur, but yeah, I guess... And amateur content creators, right? They're, they're entrepreneurs as well. This could be investing. So I'm not sure if someone's getting into stocks or maybe, okay, so I'm getting like a lease. Maybe someone's purchasing, what is this, layaway? We still do layaway in, in 2023? Two of Wands. So planning. Okay, well, yeah, someone's planning something here. What is this? Um, my watching from a distance car so yeah we could have someone spectating watching you um however it resonates but yeah it definitely seems like someone wants to move though we got a lot of movement here you got the six of swords which is literally movement right <laughs> and then the world which is literally travel right new cycle opening up and then we have two of wands which is ambition or planning to do what to take um to bust a move right the wands are about movement Trying to figure out where this page of Pentacles comes in. Seven of Pentacles. 
yeah, someone could have been saving for something like this to go on some sort of a vacation, right? It's the end of the year. This is where families like to meet up with each other, right? Thanksgiving, Christmas vibes, all that type of stuff. Mariah Carey is about to get ready to bust out of her chrysalis. <laughs> like, like we don't even listen to Beyonce during during the holiday season. We listen to straight up Mariah Carey. <laughs> yeah, look at look at her. Speak of her and she will appear. <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys that Mariah Carey was my first celebrity crush? Mm-hmm. The legs, yeah, it's my favorite body part. Speaking of legs, I don't even wear tube socks or long socks. Like, you can look back on every single video I've ever uploaded online, whether it's a tarot video or not. I don't wear long socks, but today you guys get to see me wearing long socks, so it must be a lucky day. It could be the person that's coming towards you as well. Maybe they have uh, nice legs or they're wearing long socks, but we have a celebrity here, Hope, right? Again, someone visualizing the future here. This could be an air sign, Aquarius, maybe some sort of a genius or some sort of a, mm, it could be outspoken or they're very free flowing, very free spirit is what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah. The page of swords, education, taking notes, spying, as people like to call it. Right? So they got, this could be a student. Maybe this is someone younger than you. Mm -hmm. Or again, this is just someone that's, um, that's watching you, right? They're spying. This could be across a great distance because the world is here. So I'm not sure if this person lives near you or whatever the case may be. And then we have Nine of Cups. Yeah, they see you as wish fulfillment. Mm -hmm. What is it? Yeah, it says fulfillment. So a page of Pentacles type individual is bringing you wish fulfillment. Or maybe this is you. You don't have to spend a lot to be fulfilled, right? Like me, I have so much food right now. This is why I hate carrying around stuff. I got so much food on me right now that I can't wait to dig into. It could be something as simple. You know, I always say Netflix and chill because that's the first thing that comes to mind, right? It's so simple. It's the easiest thing to do, right? Nowadays, when people talk about dates, you know, they want these $200, $300 expensive dates when that's so superficial, right? What do we have coming towards the collective? So we have positivity coming towards you. Someone's definitely attracted to you at this time. We have like a celebrity or this could be highlights even. Maybe you're going to be taking selfies or something like that. It is the weekend. So we have parties and what have you. The Ten of Swords conclusions. Yeah. A lot of talking. A lot of overthinking. I'm getting a lot of snapping of photos as well. So someone could be on a journey, a vacation or something like that. Maybe they're out of town. They're snapping a lot of photos, snapping a lot of pictures. Six of Cups, memories, right? The past, a cure, right? Again, with the Six of Swords being the first card out, this could definitely just be like a, a self-love journey, like a healing vacation, right? Short term, right? Certain healing journeys, it depends, right? It could take years. And then we have the weekend, right? After all the trauma of the week, whether it's work or what have you, we get the weekend to ourselves. So yeah, this person's coming towards you. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe you have connected with this person in the, in the past. Say, for instance, if this is someone that you're dating, right? As a mature individual, right? You guys live in your own place, have your own apartments, lease, right? You guys have your own apartments. And on the weekends, you guys hang out with each other or date each other or Netflix and chill with each other, right? doesn't matter the age. What else do we have? The Ace of Wands, sex. <laughs> Yeah, I can, I can speak from experience. You guys hear about me uh, talking about Netflixing and chilling all the time and how I like Tauruses. Literally all the Taurus relationships, all the relationships I've had with Taurus, right? Which is, they share an empress energy with me, right? Venusian qualities of liking nice things. Money is usually, like we have money. That's not the problem, right? <laughs> it's just relaxing and feeling good, a nice atmosphere. But sex, literally every time I've hung out with a, Taurus, right? Whether they was younger than me or older than me, it was always like super chill, very sensual. It was usually, yeah, a Netflix and chill type of situation. <laughs> but the Ace of Wands symbolizes travel as well. Mm -hmm. Creativity, right? A spark of inf inspiration. Mm -hmm. So maybe um, you're inspiring this Aquarius or this free-spirited individual. Yeah, you're inspiring them, all right? Ace of Wands, <laughs> firing up their sacral chakra. 
Two of Pentacles, Balance, mm. on top of Page of Swords and the World card. Hmm. Maybe you ground this individual. Like I say with Air, yeah, so again, another me and Taurus, or I have to say it this way because this is my, like, my personal testimony. And sometimes I like to like just give you guys examples. Like, yeah. Um, Air, what do, what do I usually say, or how have I been saying it lately? How uh, air signs keep uh, earth signs, first of all, as above, so below, right? You have air signs that keep um, earth signs like more open minded, more free spirited, right? And then we have the earth signs that keep air signs grounded. So it's kind of like a, a nice blend, a uh, uh, balance, I would say, like the equal give and take here. Dang, man, yeah, very relaxing. You can have someone very enlightened coming towards you, someone very healing. Mm, am I getting childlike? It's coming out on top of the Nine of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. And we know pages are like amateurs or an immature individual. I'm not saying that this person necessarily has to be immature. But the hangman energy, that stillness, yeah, there could be sex passions coming towards you as well. Mm hmm what else do we have for the collective? What's currently surrounding and what's coming towards you? A king of swords. So a very talkative individual. You could have an author or a writer, an editor, right? A motivational speaker or a thought provoker here. Yeah, this person, yeah. I mean, I guess they can be considered a genius or they're good with words here. Because the king of swords comes out right on top of the ten of swords. And um, you have a two of wands here. So this could be like a pen pal. Maybe you're shooting the shit back and forth that's literally what i'm thinking so i don't know who even talks like that back and forth with um someone over the internet i'm guessing this is like comments or a chat room or something like that it could even be dms on social media uh nine of wands mm -hmm. yeah traveling all right the wounded warrior here and what heals the wounded warrior <laughs> getting out a lot of uh Physical toxicity, a lot of physical uh, tension. This could be like a, I don't know if you take hot baths or cold baths, but yeah, again, we bring it back to sex. Mm -hmm. Sex is so powerful. Yeah. A queen of cups. Mm -hmm. A healer. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like, who's going to heal this wounded warrior? So this person that's coming towards you, it's a, it's a queen of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, energy, empathy, right? A healer. It could be a massage coming towards you. This could even be um, a word of advice or like a listening ear, like... A counselor or a therapist, right, is usually what I would say, right? But if this is someone that you're in love with, I mean, or that's in love with you, because it seems like they, it's a strong emotional attachment here. Nine of Cups, like, um, I don't know if you guys are mirroring each other in some way. 69, damn. Six of Cups and Nine of Cups. <laughs> I mean, will there be talking here? <laughs> Maybe it's like a calming atmosphere that you guys bring to each other. No, nothing wrong with that. It's just it's just awkward to talk about sex in readings, right? I mean, realistically and honest, honestly, right? I mean, we know that um, love and money is the two most important currencies in our time. People are always trying to figure out how to get money or how or trying to figure out um, their relationships, right? Oracles of the past, right? People were always trying to figure out, the, like they would go to psychics and oracles and stuff like that. To basically relationships, right? They want to know about re their relationships. Just an FYI, right? Like, you can't sit here and lie to a psychic because I guarantee anyone here, if it's you watching this or if you sit, whoever your person is down that's watching this or, or that you would have watched this or even if you would ask them, um, if they can go to a psychic, what would they want to know when they're going to get money, right? <laughs> How can they win the jackpot? What's the winning lottery numbers? Or they would want to know when they're getting married, when the love of their life is going to come to them. 
We have the Seven of Wands. Getting defensive. Hmm. This could be a very guarded person that's coming towards you, or they're very protective over this union here. It could be a very uh they're sexually attractive or is this physically fit? They're resilient here, so they must have some sort of a strong constitution. The Queen of Wands, yeah, I was gonna say gym activity. Mm-hmm. We have a divine feminine showing up in this reading here because we have the queen of cups which is very sensual very loving sympathetic and empathetic this could be a clairvoyant here we have the star card in this row with the ace of wands so they're very creative and then we have the queen of wands on top of hangman nine of cups and page of pentacles content creator it could be a stripper pole dancer only fans patreon right an athlete a very dreamy athlete. Oh, speaking of that, so this is what I'm getting from here as well. It's kind of, the message is it's weird how it all comes together. Um, I was watching YouTube not too long ago, and I um, I was getting like a lot of childhood movies, like um, The Little Giants and Angels in the Outfield. Yeah, this reminds me of Angels in the Outfield. If you're dealing with an athlete or fighter or whatever the case may be, an adventurer, A lot of content creation vibes, though. Yeah, strong sexual attraction here. Slight obsession. Yeah, temptation. <laughs> the devil card. Comes out on top of king of swords. Ten of swords and the two of wands. Ooh, yeah, they've been holding back a lot. <laughs> Capricorn energy. This could be a silver-tongued devil is what I'm getting. They're able to uh, <laughs> say nice things. Ugh, well, say the things that people would want to hear, basically. Mm -hmm. Four of swords, yeah. <laughs> Rest, relaxation. Mm -hmm. Meditative state of mind, even. Um, this could be reflection. On top of the Nine of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. This could also be like a, a doctor's appointment. Not sure if someone... Yeah, I'm going to leave that alone. Be careful with your sex. Use protection. So this is what people get into on the weekend, huh? I was channeling R. Kelly yesterday at the end of Pisces' was reading. <laughs> it was the freaking weekend. All right. The Moon card. Yeah, nighttime activity. This is um, occultism. This could be a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Some sort of a secret dream. This comes out on top of the Queen of Cups. So yeah, you're dealing with a clairvoyant here where someone is very emotional. Or they can be very emotional. They're very romantic here with the Ace of Cups. I forgot the Ace of Cups is grinding the reading. Mm -hmm. So it's not a lot, like a, it's not a whole bunch of negativity here. Although I do see the devil here. It's like the one negative card in this whole reading. But the devil, again, is not always necessarily something bad. You just want to, when you see the devil, it, it, he's basically reminding you to stay on your P's and Q's. It's not like something's bad waiting to happen. It's just, I mean, the devil is the earthbound celebrity. He has a lot of earthly wisdom, right? It reminds you of hard work. And you don't want that hard work to go down the drain. The hermit, solitude, yeah. Someone wants a long time with you. Mm -hmm. So be ready to get a personal massage. <laughs> For chicks, this would be uh, <laughs> booty rubs and all that type of stuff. For guys, this would be like, yeah, shoulder massages and all that type of stuff. Yeah. Hmm. There's a download that's trying to come through about you guys spending a lot of uh, time with each other in the nighttime. Mm -hmm. I mean, romance. The sun. Ooh. And the moon. This is a lot of joy. Like, this is an eclipse. So this is perfect timing. This even may even be your divine counterpart. Like, your twin flame, your person. The person that fires you up or you fire this person up. 
like no one else can here, the devil, which we're about to clarify, um, there may be, uh, I'm not sure if you would say that this is an opportunity, but yeah, there's a possibility that a child could come from this particular union, right? A random weekend or a random encounter or whenever this takes place, whenever you watch this, however it resonates, mm -hmm. there's romance headed towards you. And um, whoever this is, they're very abundant. They're very, um, this guy here is very, uh, I mean, this may even be both of you guys. Um, sacral chakra is very, uh, I'm thinking magnetic, but what I want to say is like it's super, it's super charged. Yeah, the sun comes out on top of the queen of wands, who is, she's sexually mature, right? It's like the ultimate sexual feminine. Mm -hmm. The eight of cups, like I was saying, be careful, right? Detachment. Don't be codependent here. This devil is coming through perfectly here. Like, don't be codependent on this devil. Don't take on any devil energy. Be, be able to walk away from relationships or bad encounters. But again, it seems like a vacation or something like that. Detoxing, right? This could be like detoxing or de-stressing from work, right? Mm -hmm. Your last message, Wheel of Fortune on top of the Four of Swords. This could be, uh, I'm not sure if this is astral travel, but this could be something possibly getting paid in your sleep here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel like you're dealing with an intuitive or clairvoyant. Mm -hmm. Some sort of a healer, someone with a lot of divine knowledge. It's funny because the moon and the wheel of fortune look similar to each other, don't they? So the wheel of fortune, sun and the moon, which is the mother and the father, right? Divine counterparts, wish fulfillment. Yeah, and I do see um, the... Uh, divine feminine energy here with two queens. Do we have two kings? We have the king of swords. Let's see what's under the bottom of the, uh, we have the ace of cups, the temperance, earth angel. So we have balance, relaxation, the devil's here. So yeah, there's nothing to worry about um, because the temperance usurps the devil. It's like uh, exorcism, right? A highly spiritual individual, very healing, right? Right, like my bartender, my DJ. So there could be drinks involved, Ace of Cups. Right? Someone that you very that you feel comfortable around, right? Because some people don't feel comfortable drinking around people or even letting down their hair around certain people. Mm -hmm. What else is here? One more. The Knight of Wands. Yes, yeah, sex, <laughs> passion. Right. Um, they uh, traveling. Yeah, I mean, it was. I was gonna say vacation. It could definitely be vacation. I don't. It's not. I don't know. Is it giving me girls trip vibes or like guys night out or something like that? It's a chip on someone's shoulder. They're very brash, possibly very vocal as well. Oh wow, I'm getting vocal, huh? Keep the noise down. Get a hotel room, you two. So, Major Arcanas. Quite a few, actually. You have five rows, so no wonder. So, I'm guessing you guys have a lot to talk about. Maybe not. You guys have a lot to do with each other. <laughs> Let's see. What am I seeing here? Definitely seeing a Sagittarius energy. This could be your Kundalini activating. This could be Kama Sutra headed towards you. Like relaxing. It's like it's like wanting to be with the one you love because that they're the only one that can detox you or heal you in certain situations, is what I'm getting. But yeah, Wheel of Fortune. This could even be money, a jackpot. Mmm. Do I want to talk about that? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's easy for a man to get rid of money, right? Because attention, energy, and time, you can't really replace that. So I hope this isn't like paying for sex or paying for the attention of someone. Now, if it's a date, oh, so this is uh, the wedding ring. So this could be courting, which is different from dating, right? Which is different from a one-night stand. 
Yeah, I mean, if this is your person, this could be aspirations of marriage here. The devil is a contract, right? A binding contract, a binding ritual. What else do we have? The hermit. Yeah, the boss and the assistant here. Usually obsessed with each other, right? We we heard the stories of bosses and their secretaries, right? What do you think uh, marriage is? I mean, people don't want to refer to it as a business contract. Well, well, why are we signing contracts? Why well, we can't just love each other, right? Why we gotta bring all this stuff in the middle of it, right? Obviously, <laughs> because it's a business contract. Uh, here we go. We got somebody approaching. All right, so we got the sun and the moon, which would be masculine and feminine, misinterpretation and positivity. Mm -hmm. But it could be a revelation, a highlight moment, a healing moment coming towards someone. Leo and, um, you know, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I think I really see all the signs here, to be honest with you. The hangman, Piscean energy. Dreams, right? Sleep, vision, astral traveling. Because travels here with Sagittarius, the world of Wu, so a wise sage. Again, a very relaxing, like vacation or time out or something like that. The star, mm -hmm. illumination. Ooh. I don't see any indication of it here, but I think someone may reach out to you from the blue, from out of the blue. Like this guy almost approached me over here. Like there's no one, no one over here. This is probably one of those spots in this library, in this seven, eight story library that no one is at. Like, why do you think I came here? <laughs> got divine feminine energy mm -hmm. queen of wands very uh very sexual very healing though right so yeah mm. we got the king of swords the page of pentacles i don't know i guess you guys are going to be recording this excursion so what is this a vacation or something like this Page of Swords and Page of Pentacles. The Page of Swords is spying, and you know how I feel about the Page of Pentacles. It's proof or tangibles. A cell phone, right? <laughs> a tablet or some sort of a mobile device. But yeah, there's a possibility that um, a seed can be planted in a situation, if you know what I mean. A child, King of Swords. Because here's a doctor. Mm -hmm. We do have two aces in a reading, ace of wands and the ace of, yeah, boy. There's a lot of strong passion here. Mm -hmm. Women, check your, uh, what is it? Don't women have like an app nowadays? The Wheel of Fortune is an app for me. Don't you guys like have apps that you can watch your like pregnancy cycle or something like that or check when you're ovulating or whatever the case may be? This could possibly be what this is. What is this, a honeymoon or something like that? Doesn't necessarily have to be, right? Take the message how it resonates. Now let's get down to the numerology so we can close out this reading. We got collaboration. Two of Pentacles and two of Wands. So yeah, closing the gap here or balancing. Someone's making or planning to come towards you to balance out either finances or um, stability here. Mm, I'm, I'm not sure if they're nervous. Mm. Two, 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 no threes. We have four swords. So yeah, resting period. Yeah, it reminds me of like a vacation, right? And even couples, right? If you live in the same household, maybe you have children or whatever the case may be. You know, sometimes you can rent a hotel room to get away from the kids, right? If they're at that age, they're teenagers where they're able to look over themselves, right? So you can get that. <laughs> get this. I mean, you guys are about to make another child. <laughs> What do we have here? Any fives? No fives. Okay, so there's no tension here. That's good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a very positive reading here. Again, take the messages how they resonate. 66, six of swords, six of cups. Yeah, again, movement, vacation. This could be like a long drive, a walk on the beach. Maybe you guys going literally to the city, city over, right? 10 miles over to the next city to get away from what you guys are used to, right? Getting things off your mind. 
nice conversations, maybe wine or whatever the case may be, a nice dinner. Mm, it's the little things that matter, right? Seven of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Right? You guys are, you owe this to each other is what I'm getting here. Mm -hmm. So this person that's coming towards you, I'm not sure if they feel entitled to your time. Seven of Wands, that's defensiveness, right? Or that's being guarded about something. Seven of Pentacles, maybe they invested in you somehow. So that would be like a, a, a masculine, like a husband or, ooh, like I said earlier, courting. Seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Make sure this isn't, isn't codependent energy, right? But again, this could be, again, walking away from something, a short vacation. Because you think about it, attachments and that sort of thing, right? Or this card, that thing that people don't, don't normally say about Eight of Cups. Why do you have to walk away from something or why do you have to learn to detach from something? Because it almost becomes an addiction. So this could be love, right? <laughs> the infinity symbol, when you turn it around sideways, is recurring energy. So it's like it's an addiction. It's an attachment, right? You try to leave it, but you're going to come back to it anyways, right? <laughs> you got nine of wands and nine of cups. Sexual tension, fear, the wounded warrior, and then nine of cups, wish fulfillment. So turning that fear into love, the other side of the spectrum that I always tell you guys about, right? Fear is the lowest vibration and love is the highest vibration. Right? And then we have all the other emotions in the middle of that spectrum. Ten of Swords, conclusions. Right? Enjoy your time together, right? Talk to each other. Communication is key, right? Maybe you guys are going to be... <laughs> laying in bed and uh, laughing about the things that you see on social media, right? Netflix and chill type vibes, right? So that's what I have for you guys. I'll do a break back message and we'll close out the reading. I did not expect this to be a 30 minute plus reading. Hmm. So yeah, you guys, lucky day. You get to see me in socks. Long socks. <laughs> Alright. It's the bee's knees. All right, let's get into it. What's the closing messages for the collective? A break deck message for the current love energies, what's coming towards you, what's to be expected. What's the closing messages for the collective, for the watchers today, Spirit? It's actually a very beautiful view behind me. break deck message to close out today's reading we got the knight of swords and the queen of wands charisma and drama could be loud love making whatever the case may be mm, this could be writing a script this is acting oh what is this foreplay or this is like um what do they call that not bdsm dominatrix this is role play okay so you guys are about to get into some role play <laughs> Because it's a content creator, highly sexual energy, right? Feminine energy. Mm -hmm. 33, uh, 3 on the clock. Actually, 33, 33. And then, yeah, talking, right? Scripting, getting across something mentally, right? Um, a verbal stimulation, right? Holding back but not having to hold back, right? Yeah, that's what it's giving me, right? I don't, I don't, I don't even, I'm not even sure if I got that, if that type of uh, energy ever before in a reading, right? Uh, role play. Let's see. So, yeah, you get a view. Get a view of the city, baby. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the messages today. Catch you guys on the next one, Collective. Peace.